Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Back with another episode of Deathmark. We are going to the forest and what is this? New chapter item changes. All items obtained within a chapter are removed at the end. Okay, that makes sense. If a character brings an item, it will be added at the start. New chapter soul power. It will return to 1000. I want insolent punk. I want this guy. Oh, okay, cool. I am gonna save before I fuck up. And we are gonna go to the forest on not the bicycle, apparently. Maybe I should have brought the other guy because it is his mark. I just don't like him as much. I find one character to like and I stick to that character for as long as I can. And then once they rip that character away from me, I have to find a new character. And then I do the same thing with that character. I don't let them go. Lashda sits in the passenger seat and makes no attempt at conversation. The first time he was in the car, I found I was cautious of his every movement. But now I feel strangely relaxed around him. I guess humans aren't actually scared of others, just the parts of other people that they don't know. It's fascinating stuff. What are you grinning at? It's pretty creepy. Oh, sorry. Though I'll admit I don't really understand him. He's self-righteous to a fault, yet he stayed behind at the mansion for me. I told you my reason earlier, I won't say it again. I haven't said a word may as well have. It's written all over your face. He, he's really sharp. People who are adept at obscuring their intentions would be good at reading other people's minds. If I could just add one thing, it's probably wise to have someone along who doesn't have that mark. You tend to lose your cool when you're being targeted. Then nothing will ever get solved. I see. That makes a certain amount of sense. When I remember the final moments at each elementary, my hands start to sweat. Which is also true. I thought of that. That's why I decided to bring the detective and not the kid. But also, I kind of want to bring him along because he's the one that's connected to all this. So he would probably know something about it, though he doesn't remember right now. There's no proof that I'll be able to remain calm during the next crisis. I'm definitely grateful for your help, but if we encounter a spirit again, we'll need someone to overcome that crisis, so that's his reason for coming along. I, I guess that's just the kind of people detectives are. Huh? We love searching for things, sniffing every nook and cranny to uncover that which is hidden. That's our one skill. <laughs> it kinda is. Mashda's dry laugh fills the car. Well, you can't just find clues. You gotta, like, piece them together, right? That's not your one skill. Also, I want to bring him because he's an ex-detective. But I feel like I'm still going to be doing most of the work anyway. We arrive at the forest by H. Castle. I stop the car near where Shoal says he saw the man and we enter the forest. Why can't we bring like, cause this is like initial investigation, why can't we just bring all three of us? But also I guess, you know. I mean at one point at H Elementary it was three people. All the guideposts on the path are faded, their paint peeling off. It looks hardly traversed, just as Sho and Mashta said. There's a Korosu. <laughs> Does it have to say Korosu? We are walking a while until we come to a large arc marking the start of a hiking trail. It looks like there's a U before the coal and a To before the No something and No something something something. It's rusted over and with the paint peeling it doesn't seem to have been touched up. The letters have faded are mostly illegible. Carefully reading it, it says, Kill. Welcome. Does it say? 
Oh, it could say Yokoso. To the M U R lush and romantic mur mur murder. It says murder. They translate it to say murder. It does say that in Japanese. It's just Koros Wood Timberland. Yeah, M U R D E R. Yeah. Yes, it says murder. We figured. I, f I saw it. I happen to be able to read those three characters that you use in katakana. I'm sure Mashta heard me, but I guess he's completely ignoring me. Hmm. More overgrown than I thought. There's a lot of ground we have to cover. Let's get a move on. You, you don't see the sign that says murder. We'll pass under the arch and enter the forest. The murder park we go to. We continue down the path a short while before we come across something unexpected. A grave marker. It was probably put there to honor those who commit suicide here. Might not be a bad idea to say a quick prayer for those who ended their suffering that way. But why here? <coughs> it's, maybe it's suicide course. I don't know. It's a grave marker, a place to honor suicide victims. Touch it. Something's written in magic marker. Say the opposite of the truth. You'll be followed. What? So if I say the opposite of the truth, I will be followed? Or I say the opposite of the truth and I won't be followed? Okay. Huh. Okay. This certainly feels like a place that's famous for suicides. Just off to the side, I notice a faint trail. Discovered the entrance to the beast's trail. A beast trail, huh? We'll need to look down there too. Hey, I'm not ready to move on. Who said I was ready to move along? I'm not done. You can't make me move on when I'm not ready. The moonlight doesn't reach the beast trail that branches off the hiking trail, so we're in gloom. The trees are thick on both sides. We'll get lost if we'd get lost if I didn't have a flashlight. Just then, there are footsteps close by from the bushes. Mashta stops me with his arm. Someone's here. Well, I know. I hear footsteps again. They seem to be getting closer. Then. What? <gasps> what are you doing here? A man appears from the bushes. He looks horribly exhausted. Oh, don't sorrow me like that. You shouldn't stand around in the dark. Well, you were walking around in the dark. That doesn't make any difference. What are you doing? The man falls silent. I think he realized he already knows... The answer. Mashta did say this place is a famous spot for suicide. I just can't do it anymore. I work myself to the bone at a job I don't even want. And you just bring another man home. How. What? How dare you! The nerve! Huh? <laughs> what? He holds his head in his hands. Ah! Oh, okay, I get it. That took me a really long time to understand. So it's his wife. He's working hard for his family. And his wife went and cheated on him. Okay. Made sense now. He suddenly starts kicking a tree and yelling. Please don't get mad at me. A rapid stream of swear words flows out of his mouth. He seems to be the type that goes crazy when upset. Well, he kind of is. Also, he looks like he's going to die any second. Hey, could you tell me? How much nerve do you have to have to do that? Huh? Stop him. Death invites death. 
Oh, I saw. I need to stop him from killing himself. I hear that voice again. Who is this voice? Stop him? Does that mean I should dissuade him? If you've got something to say, just spit it out, you bastard. I. I guess I'll die. Uh. Suddenly, listen. I don't know. It would be bad if he went berserk here. I'll just have to hear him out. But it seems that man misinterprets my silence. <laughs> oh, do you feel the same way? Of course you do. You're here in this forest after all. Oh, I'm safe. Oh, I'm safe. <sighs> what did she think I was doing? Worked myself sick, but stuck with it anyway. And for whose sake? I even bought her a purse on our anniversary last year. Damn it! Then she goes and sees another man. I, yeah, I finally figured out. I'm sorry, I'm slow. The man curses the darkness. He's completely lost it. I should probably avoid any tactless interjections or flattery. Hey, you there. Was it me? What do you think? Clear this up for me. Did I do something wrong? Uh, I need to answer again. I don't know, no, yes, no, what? The man gaze starts around nervously, then he mutters quietly. Could it be that creepy guy? He checks around on full alert. Satisfied that no one's there, he resumes speaking. I'm safe! How many more do I have to do? I'm sure she'd just laugh if she heard I was dead. Hanging off her asshole lover. But when I think about it, you know, it's strange. Why do I have to make her happy when it causes me such pain? It's ridiculous. I'm done with it. No way am I gonna die for an idiot like that. That's right. I'm sure I can still. The man looks down at his feet, then glances up at me. We could start... We could still start over fresh, right? You mean start over fresh like... It's impossible. I don't know, man. Ugh, I told you, I'm done with all that. Seriously, give me a break. Well, excuse me, I got two out of three. Uh, everyone's always looking down on me. I'm not going to do what you want. You killed yourself, I think. He ran off. I have to do it. Oh, I have to look for him? If he makes too much of a racket, the guy hiding in the forest will... Ooh, I think we fucked up. Someone's here. Oh, drill! Power drill! Oh my god, I died! Before I realize it, a huge figure looms up behind me and fucking stabs me in the behind. And apparently Mashta dies too. <laughs> Sorry. I was doing so well. How do I skip? Okay, there you go. Yes, we've, we've been over this. It's this guy. His wife cheated on him. I don't know what the fuck my first answer was. Uh, oh, listen silently. Number two! Now skip. And I is safe. <sighs> okay, now I say number three. And then I say sure. Or should I say no? I'm gonna say sure first because that's where it lands. Oh no, fuck! Oh, come on! If you say you're done with it, then why the hell are you asking me for my opinion? Go off and die on your own, for all I care. Just don't drag me into your death. You... You salary man, you! You ruined my life twice. You ended my life twice. You 
asshole. You. I'm done with you. Go fix your own problems. Why am I solving your problems? I don't even know you. You're just some random ass guy walking in the forest. This whole episode is just me talking to this guy and not being able to figure out the last option. I should have. I can't. I don't know you! No, you cannot start all over again. Fuck her. Yeah, I agree. If you wanted that answer, then why the hell did you ask me? I lived this long, it's too late for me. How is that safe? He just said he lived too long, so he's gonna end his life. I'll die sometime soon, if, even if it's not tonight. I'll endure it until then. Really? Is that what it takes to convince you? I don't know what you've been through, but you should rethink it. Honestly, though, you look like you'll be fine. His expression changes as if he remembered something. I saw a strange man while I was wandering around here. His body was covered with black splotches. You think he's sick? He kept staring at me. It was creepy. If you're headed back there, be careful. A man covered in splotches. Mary brought up some rumors about a man like that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The name's Masao Kimura. If we ever meet again... Your name is in yellow, I'm pretty sure we'll meet again. The man scratches his head and smiles a bit. Let me buy you a drink or something. Well, see you. Okay. We don't talk long enough with Masao Kimura. Oh, we don't talk long with Masao Kimura before he leaves. New information was added. <sighs> Typical failure in society. He fits right in in this forest. The beast trail continues onward. Let's return to our investigation. Can I save so I never have to do that ever again? I was doing so well. How did I go backward? I still didn't finish looking at this. What if something's written in magic marker? Say the opposite of the truth, you'll be followed. Oh, okay. It doesn't say anything, but apparently... What do we have? I have a baseball and a baseball bat. Oh, okay, okay. What am I gonna do with those? I have no idea. But let's go forward. Ugh. This is not where the hell we were. As we try... As, bleh, as we continue through the dense forest, a pained cry suddenly echoes among the trees. Um... Uh. 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 What? Dude. You. Shh. 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 Ambient. Shut up. There's a pattern on the tree trunk. There's an arm like pattern. Oh, yes. It is a hand. Pattern on the bark. Is this even a natural occurrence? Feel it. I look around the tree and find a talisman on the exact opposite side of the tree from the pattern. Found a worn out talisman. When I pick up the worn out talisman, I feel warmth flow through me. I got more soul power. How much? I didn't see it flash too fast. Oh, I can't look at it anymore. Okay. Guess that's it. How the fuck do I get out of this forest? I don't even know no more. Do I have a map? Uh, I don't like this forest. It all looks the same to me. There is new thing here, so go for it, I guess. Oi? Is this... I searched a grave marker, but nothing unusual about it. Oh, okay. Off to the side, I noticed a thin trail. Found the beast trail. Hmm, another one, huh? Let's check this one, too. The last time we checked the last one, I almost died. I followed Mashta into the bushes. 
uh... Are you a statue? Please tell me you're a statue. Mashta spots something and stumbles, falling backwards onto me. At the same time, every single hair on my body stands on end. Uh, I quickly look down to find. Something is clinging onto my ankles, its expression anguished. It seems eager to speak to me, but its voice is incredibly hard to decipher. And this place pitch black could no, couldn't doesn't have a G. Can't see anything. What's it saying? Wait, that grave marker said to say the opposite of the truth. But well, what's the opposite of the truth? Does this mean I'm supposed to lie? I guess so, son. Hey, wait. Are you something less too? What? What does that mean? Are you something less too? No. Yes, no. I'll go with you. What does that mean? I don't even know what the hell he's at. How am I supposed to answer? I hear another voice at my feet. Am I dead? Don't believe it. I don't understand something. Tell me, am I dead? No, you're totally not dead. Ugh. No way, I still have to something. It looks sad and lonely. I'm gonna die if I get the next one wrong. I hear yet another voice at my feet. Please listen. Oh, some someone, please listen. I have to live. I something to live. Oh, I want to live. I alive? Yeah, you are alive. You're opposite of the truth. I am not alive. Shake. Shake your head. She's not alive. She Wait. <laughs> I fucked myself over. She says I'm alive, which is not the truth. So I say yes. I, I forgot what I was supposed to do. I thought I was supposed to say no to their stuff. Uh, I tricked myself in the end. Yeah, my brain, my brain couldn't keep up with that one. My brain got confused at the end. That was dumb. But this episode is a little long, so I will <laughs> answer correctly in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!